essentially uh, JWST, which is James Webb Telescope and the Hubble Telescope, they are going to look at the universe, different objects, galaxies, star formation, and, and other objects you see in the universe. Whereas uh, when we talk about it, uh, L1, it is going to look at one particular object, which is our sun. Um, and it's also uh, kept on the other side of the Sun-Earth line at the L1 point, whereas the James Webb Telescope went on the other side of the Earth, which is uh, at the L2 point. Now, uh, the scientific difference, of course, they, they also observe in ultraviolet, but uh, um, uh, Aditya, as uh, Professor Anil Bharadwaj and also Professor Anna Purnishubhana alluded to, these are multi-wavelength uh, 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 satellite, and they will be observing all across the, um, the electromagnetic spectrum. In particular, SUIT is going to be looking at the ultraviolet radiation uh, in 2,000 to 4,000 angstrom, if that matters to you, uh, um, uh, emits from the lower and the middle atmosphere of the sun. And what we want to look at that how, in general, the sun's atmosphere is coupled by looking at the observations at various height, and uh, how actually this radiation is coming and uh, getting absorbed in the uh, Earth's atmosphere and what kind of effect it can have in the chemistry of ozone and oxygen, for example, and also these explosions which are happening, how much radiation they are creating, and how much effect it might have.